Bob, how can practitioners gain traction for the security program within their own organizations? You know, Steve, that's probably one of the universal questions, and, and uh, it, it has to do partially with, I think the first step would be assessing what your organizational readiness is. How ready is the organization for what you're trying to do? Um, I used to go in and just uh, go flat out with my agenda without ever thinking about the organization. And uh, just because the person that hires you wants a significantly upgraded program doesn't mean the rest of the organization is ready for that. And so doing this organizational assessment, looking at each of the executives or the business units and, and having a feel for how they feel about security or the risks or the incidents that they're exposed to is a huge part of that. So uh, one part of it is um, you're only going to gain as much traction as the organization is ready for. Well, once you assess that, and, and I'd start with the people that have a, a bigger appetite, that are ready for more change, and you're going to find it a lot easier. Uh, maybe it was dumb luck, but I usually started out with the people that wanted it the least. I don't know how it works out that way, but um, <clears throat> just by, by a good analysis of starting with the right people, that's going to get you a lot of traction quicker. There's always time to go back and fill in the blanks, but why waste your time where somebody is going to be resistant unless you've got a director to do that. Once that's done, <clears throat> I think then you can look at um, what the results have been in the places you have implemented it. And if you can start to get some numbers, so uh, if you can come up with a corporate number of how many incidents per thousand employees does this business unit have? How does that compare to the other business units? How does it compare to any national statistics? We're starting to get a lot better data now on, on uh, uh, great data for different types of incidents or problems. The Security Leadership Research Institute's been a huge help in us being able to uh, get a picture by sector of what's going on. So uh, I think the, 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 the short answer is use data and facts instead of, uh, uh, you know, it's the right thing to do, you got to do this or bad things are going to happen. I think all of us early in our careers run around and say if we don't do this we're going to die. You know, the sky is falling strategy for getting traction. That's not the way to do it. Now there's much better data than we had before. So, keeping metrics front and center and kind of building that culture from the top down is key to what you're trying to get across. And then, then quickly define the wins in your own corporation and use those as a comparator. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Awesome.